Am I even recording? Oh. Yeah, I don't feel like doing this. Hi, welcome to a new series that I'm going to be doing occasionally here and there called vid tips. So essentially what this is, is me showing my video editing tips or tricks that I use because I simply edit on iMovie. And the reason is, is because I don't feel like paying a subscription for a video editing software that I don't even make money for doing. iMovie is one I'm gonna stick with. But the only problem with iMovie is you can't do all these famous and cool things on there. It's, it, it's just, that's not how it works. That's why it's free. You don't get everything you want but you can find some little tricks and little sneaky ways to get past all that. It takes a few extra steps sometimes, but you can sometimes get the exact same thing or something similar to what you, you what you want. I hope I make sense like that. Anyway, so today for the first video of this little series, I feel like I should start it off with a banger. Okay, because this one, I actually had to figure out myself. I didn't discover it on YouTube anywhere. Looking it up, trying to research, trying to figure out how to work this trick out. I actually had to learn this myself. So let's get to it. So have you like watched the news or any sort of YouTube video that shows this video that's like vertical? You know what I mean? Like the, and the black bars on the side. And it's just, it, it really takes away everything from the, the format you're usually seeing on YouTube when you got your phone sideways. But the problem is the vertical takes away from the whole experience that way. And it really kind of makes the video kind of bland, no matter how interesting it is in the vertical part. So you see a lot of people do these little edit tricks where the center is clear, but the sides fill it up with the blurred version of that video. I wanted to learn how to do that because I had a clip and this was it. And I was thinking, you know, it might help somebody. Yeah, that was, I wasn't watching where I was stepping, so that's irrelevant to this conversation. I was stunned. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do that because I looked up on Google and YouTube how to do this, and I found one that was kind of a dumb way. It's like a screenshot version, but no, I want the actual video playing in the background and synced together where it looks like it's just a blurred up version but zoomed in. I will show you how to do that in this episode. Okay, so I am in iMovie and uh, let's just get right to it. So here is my clip that I'm gonna show you and I'll just let you see the video real quick. Hi, I'm filming this video for the video that you're watching so I can show you what I'm doing. Yeah, that's all I had to say. I'm an idiot. Anyway, the way I had to figure this out was uh, a very weird, simple trick but you have to save multiple pro multiple projects. So I'll give you an idea. So if any of you know iMovie, you know you can go to titles. One of the best title or credit, whatever you want to call these things. They're called titles here, but I like to call them text effects. One of the best ones is this pull focus, which means you put it on the video and whatever you type, whenever the, ti whenever the text comes up, it blurs the background, but it shows the letters clear. And what you can do sometimes just to blur the whole screen, just hit spacebar, submit that, and it just blurs it out. You can sometimes do that for any sort of effect. That's, that's a little tip within itself in case you want to do something like that for whatever reason. We're going to use it for this reason. So what you can do is have it go across the entire video and make sure that it's uh, blank. There's no words on there. And what you need to do is go ahead and save that project. So once that's saved, you're gonna go ahead and go get that sucker and put it on your project. And first of all, before you like go any further and waste your time, make sure that it actually blurs it, which it does here. What you're gonna wanna do is a picture in picture. You get the one that's blurred, which is this bottom one. You can't see it right now because I haven't done this, but let me go ahead and actually do the picture in picture first. See, you got it here. So what you can do, Go ahead and do this. Go to the blurred version, which should be your bottom one. Go crop to fill and zoom that puppy in to where this rectangle is literally like this. Dead center of the blurred clip like this. And you're gonna get your picture in picture version and zoom it in like this and make sure I get it right. This way it fills the whole screen up. Now you have to make sure that it's synced. Now, if you don't want this to blur out, because sometimes when you put a picture in picture effect, iMovie likes to do this little weird thing where it makes your picture in picture little thing, screen on screen, fade in. You see how it wants to fade in? Well, this little thing right here, 
you can take that fade in out and it's just immediately there. And so that's what you got. So basically, if you're working on a video project and you're like, hey, I need you to record yourself doing this or hey, send me that funny little video that you recorded on your phone. Well, it turns out they recorded it vertical, but you want it to fill the entire screen. You can do this little cool effect that you see on some people's YouTube videos or, or on the news. The news does this a lot, I guess, to fill the whole screen up and make it look not as boring. Yeah, I figured out how to do that myself because there was no tutorial on YouTube anywhere to show me how to do this on iMovie. And I figured I would put it out there so people could do it if they only edit on iMovie. So yeah, that's my tip of this video. A little short tutorial on how to do this and also try to make it somewhat entertaining. If I have any more tips and tricks or if anyone has any questions on what can you, what else can you do with iMovie. If you have a specific question on how do I do this, how do I do that, I can do my best to try to figure out a way to do it on iMovie and show you how to do it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helps anyone that's actually wanting to do this. So uh, yeah, without further ado, stay safe and be free. Peace.